Hi all. Okay, so every once in a while I'm interested about another kind of topic that I'm learning myself because it is interesting me and now in the latest months I have learned about air conditioning and I decided that I want to build my own cooler uh, that will work like a real cooler which means it will use compressor like this this is a 12 volt compressor brushless compressor most of the compressor are brushless and I bought it from Aliexpress yeah and uh, what is special about this one that it's very very small as you can see compared to my hand yeah also the weight I check the weight and it's about 850 gram it's even not one kilogram and I had to buy separately uh, this model which is the brushless controller because this is a three-phase motor and I don't want to work a lot in order to make it to work because there are other things in the gas and the pipes and all the copper pipes and building the system and there is many other aspects related to it so I didn't want to uh, invent the electronics that is already uh, in the market so I bought it with this board by the way it's a connector here ah, it's stuck I stuck it it's almost I can't remove it but uh, below this connector there are just three pins the three phase of the motor now I will try to remove it it's very difficult to to put it and maybe I will remove it in order to check something okay Okay, I can remove it like this maybe, It'll be easier. Yeah, so you can see we have here three pins, which is something that I did not check. Uh, this is why I'm going now to uh, check things that I didn't check. Okay, what I want to check is the coil's impedance, of course. So let's see how this motor is. Ah, I need to move to ohms. Ah, it's difficult. So, hmm, can't even measure it. Let's see, maybe like this. Okay, so I'm shorting the probes, maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and then we have about 0 0.5, and again 0 0.2. So we have about 0 0.2 ohms, maybe. No, just a second. We have about 0 0.1 ohm, the coils, the resistance of the coils in this motor. So this, this motor probably is consuming a lot of power because when you're compressing gas, so you need the power in order to do it correctly and in order to keep the pressure. So we'll now put it back. Okay, and the next thing, of course, is to, to check that this is working. There are two pipes here. One of them is, of course, pushing the gas out, and the other one is sucking it in. I don't know which is what. It's very easy to find out. You just remove the tapes and check where you have a push and where you have a suck. And uh, this is probably the potentiometer to change uh, the speed of the motor 
uh, I'm sure. And then I found that there is a minus and plus. So this is the, of course, the voltage in. And then we have two fans here. And this is called key. Okay. So as I got it, I first think, of course, try to make it work, but without success. No manual, no nothing. And now let's try and find, and maybe if you are doing a short, it will fail to work. And also I don't want to make it work uh, without checking uh, the power consumption and the current out. Okay, so I found a 12 volt UPS battery that can do the work, of course, because uh, it can send and deliver a high current out. So we'll put now, yeah, we'll put the current meter as well. Now I'm showing you because it took me a lot of time to to make it to work, yeah, in order to, to see it working. It's not very simple. And I will show you what do I mean. So this is the minus and this is the plus. I did put wire with color so I will know what I'm doing. And I'm connecting, connecting. Nothing happens, yeah. Nothing happened. Then I said to myself, maybe I need to do a short in these wires in order to get it to work. And yeah, so when I do a short, it is starting to work sometimes. Now it is not starting to work. Let's try again. You see nothing. This is the way I got it, so it is not starting to work. Ah, it starts after a while. And we can see the current is only 1.5 amp. It's not a lot. This is nice, but there is no pressure in the system. So I don't know if there is no pressure in the system. During a short now, maybe the controller is checking everything before applying it to start to work. No. So I really don't know how the control, ah, now it is working, you see? So maybe I need two times when I'm taking it off, it, it stops. And then if I put it, it doesn't start but on the second time it start. So putting it again and now it will probably start. Not really, uh huh. Yeah. So maybe you need just to wait enough time. You see the count is very low, which is very promising. But there is no pressure in the system yet, so it doesn't say that it will not consume much more power in the actual uh, system that I'm going to build. I'm shorting now to see if it will start after some time. You see, I'm doing a short here. Yeah. It is starting just after some time. So there is like a delay. So this is the on-off key. And yeah, it is working. So I'm going to build a system. Uh, I will show you how the system will look when everything is built up. I will need to fill up, of course, air conditioning gas. Uh, I tried also to work with other, I thought about simple motors, not like compressor motors, but then I checked that it will not be good enough and not enough pressure for gas. So I have many things in my mind how to do it efficiently in order to work uh, for a long time in the field. But uh, yeah, now I'm going to do 
all the welding, put all the system, doing the uh, hot hot part and the cool part. Maybe in the other video I will speak about the theory how it works. Basically, it is going from high pressure to low pressure when you are moving from very high pressure to low pressure, like you are using uh, any can of spray that you are pressing. You can feel that if you press for a long time, the can itself is getting cool, very cool. This is because the high pressure gas, any kind of gas that is going from high pressure to low pressure, it creates the colding effect. And uh, yeah, so I will keep you up with this very interesting project anyway to, I think it is very interesting. And uh, uh, next video about it in the next uh, few weeks. So thank you and bye.